roll call my name is Sherry, yeah, Sherry Renee. I'm doing front page, yeah, on Broadway. Hey, hey, Shabuya, yeah, yeah, we're doing roll call, Shabuya, yeah, yeah, here on Broadway.com. Oh, I think it's this one. It's so weird because I'm so not a princess, but I think it's just because I'm blonde and the character was blonde. <laughs> it's so much fun. Oh my God, Heather and Adam and, and I and, and everyone and um, had, had so much fun um, doing, doing this part. So I'm happy to be recognized for the role of the Egyptian princess Amneris. Sabina from Candor and Ebbs over and over that's never come to uh, old Broadway. She's the maid who I don't know, talks about humanity through time <laughs> and experiences all types of humanity. And I just love this play over and over. I didn't totally nail this, and I don't, I don't believe in nailing of any type unless it's done to me, but I don't know, I just love doing this one. <laughs> And I love being with the people and my son was just born two months before and oh and she plays dumb and then you realize she's had it going on the whole time and let's just you know keep our fingers crossed for that part for me. Only because I got to be on stage with Lindsay and Betsy and Eamon and write with Dick Scanlon and you know sing about what everybody wants to sing about God and I did eight shows a week of this, and it was amazing. And I had a really great ass when I was done with it too. I hate wearing dresses or skirts, and I had to wear both in, in, the, in these. And I, they made me enjoy uh, doing that. I got to seem like a rich Upper East Side lady or another thing that I would be typecast as a, a rich Spanish woman. Um, wow. I think this, not because of the porn aspect, that's why I was right for it, but I was wrong for it because of the cheerleading part. I never wanted to do that. The costume is great, um, but not for cheering purposes, for other purposes. I love my girls in this, hello everybody out there, but uh, um, I'm not a cheerleader. This one. This kicked my ass, because I went in after Adina. You know, the front two rows of the audience would get up and leave right before I did um, um, the Over the Moon monologue. Um, so it kind of kicked my ass spiritually in that like, a lot of the audience members didn't like me. But then a review came out that was really positive and supportive and things turned around in a day. So um, uh, it kicked my ass spiritually and, um, and I'm really grateful for it. I did this amazing thing one time with an amazing person and an amazing director and composer and I started this little label and it was our first recording and yeah, this happened. This is really quite the experience right now, doing the front page. The reason I'm saying my family loves it the most is because um, my son had to help me out learning my lines and he's uh, 12 and he didn't want to. Then when he realized that, uh, what, that I played the old whore with a heart of gold, um, he was more than willing to go back and run them again and was like, take it from you old whore and we'll start there. And it ended up being very funny. I thought it would be traumatizing for him. And, um, and instead he, he seems to be really proud. Well, I think everybody should put, um, get post-its and write um, all the jobs they've had on them and and then just turn around and face it really face it um, and ask yourself these questions and you know what you could be onto something it could be like a new form of therapy thank you for letting me play roll call shabu yeah 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 and come see the front page on broadway